What mile radius do you go in for your garage sales? Do you limit yourself in mileage output? I've always kept myself within a zoned area or I figure my gas output will negate the savings on items. It's Wednesday, July 22nd, and I have 10 eBay orders to ship out. Let's get to work. Okay, first thing is over here at A4. This is a Teletubbies doll. The last one I have is sold for $13.99 plus shipping. All right, back to this Aqua Age box. I've been selling quite a bit of this stuff. Got all this at a garage sale for like three, four dollars a piece. Just sold my last two bottles of Ultra Gel. These two sold for $35.98 free shipping. Next order has two items, and I think they're both right here in C7. This is a vintage uh, San Diego Padres pennant, and there's also a diecast car in here that the buyer got. And this diecast car is in the same box. Um, these two sold for $26.98 plus shipping. Those are both going to have to named Randy. Randy, thank you for the support. I really appreciate it. Okay, next are some pogs right up here. I have to move a few things around. I got too much stuff up here. I got a few pennies into these. I got a whole bunch of them at a garage sale for five bucks. The pair sold for $11.99 for shipping. Next, we're coming down here to E5. I sold this Panasonic stapler. I got a dollar or two into this. It sold for $9.99 plus shipping. Okay, next thing shipping out is a helmet. You'd think it would be easy to find. Here it is. This is an autographed Jason Pierre Paul helmet. Got this at a garage sale, part of a like bundle deal I made with some other autographed stuff. I've got $20 into this. Had it listed for around $100. Somebody sent me a best offer of $77 plus shipping, and I accepted. Let's go on to a viewer named Brian. So, Brian, thank you for the business. I really hope you like this helmet. Next is over here in E1. This is a Super Nintendo Game Genie, part of a bulk video game buy I made a week or two ago. I might have five or ten bucks into this. This was complete with the box. The box wasn't in great shape, but still pretty valuable. This sold for $49.99 plus shipping. Okay, next is a chess game. This guy right here, Excalibur Kingmaster 3. I picked this up at a garage sale for $3. It sold for $24.99 plus shipping. If you're named Mike bought this for his dad. Mike, thank you for the support. I really hope he likes this. Next is down here, B6. It is the last of the jerseys that I got at that garage sale. This is Roger Worley. I've got about 20 bucks into this. Sold for $46.99, free shipping. This is going out to a viewer named John, who's bought a lot from me in the past. So John, thank you for the continued support. It means a lot. Okay, last order is four cars, and I believe they're all right here in E8. We've got a Camaro, a Ford Thunderbird, Bel Air, and a Cadillac Eldorado. Same buyer got all four of these cars for $64.96 plus shipping, and I will definitely be putting all these in one box and sending them a refund on the shipping difference. All those cars are going out to viewer named Gage. Gage, thank you so much for the support. I really appreciate it. It is Thursday morning. I decided not to go to garage sales today. There weren't that many really to go to, so I'm in the warehouse shipping some eBay orders. Uh, first order has six diecast cars. A couple of them are right up here in C8. Let's see, we've got this Buick Century. Here is a 57 Ford Ranchero. All right, next is up here in G7. I think there might be a couple of them up here, actually. This is an Edsel Citation. Then in B8, we've got, I think, at least one or two. This is a Bel Air Coupe. They also bought this Firebird Trans Am and this Corvette. All six of these cars sold for $99.94 plus shipping. Those are going out to a viewer named Gage, who just bought some cars yesterday. So, Gage, thank you so much for the continued support. I'm betting your car collection is looking pretty good about now. Okay, back up here, C8. Somebody bought this car right here. This is an Oldsmobile 442. This sold for $19.99 plus shipping. And this right here sold. This is a Chevy Impala. All black. Pretty slick, too. That sold for $39.99 plus shipping. Okay, next thing is up here in E2. This is a Bone Thugs and Harmony cassette. I paid 50 cents for this at a garage sale last weekend. It sold for $19.99 free shipping. This is going out to viewer Carrie from Arkansas. Carrie, thank you for the support. I really appreciate it. All right, next is over here in D3. This is a big 12 inch coil for a metal detector. Selling this for my mother in law that sold for $69.99 plus shipping. All right, last thing we're pulling is in D4. Also sold this for my mother-in-law. It's a big safety mask. This sold for $29.99 plus shipping. This week I bought a whole bunch of inventory from a couple of viewers that reached out to me. I've got this big box right here. I've got some more stuff down below me. I'm gonna dig it all out and show you guys what I bought. All right, this box right here, I got a Mad Magazine hobby kit from Ravel. I think this is from 
the 80s maybe? Let's see if there's a year on this thing. Oh, 2000, I'm totally wrong. Not vintage, but still pretty cool. That's in the plastic. I got a whole bunch of patches. Yeah, I think there's some duplicates in here, so it'll make it easy for listing. You got some Elvis patches, post office, Guns N' Roses. Yeah, that's a pretty good lot of patches right there. I got some Funko Pops. Let's see, we got Doctor Strange, Deadpool. Some more here. There's a bunch of Dorbs right there. Let's see what this one is. The Riddler, Black Ranger for Power Rangers, Pink Ranger. Uh, I got some board games. This one's pretty cool. The Beatles Flip Your Wig Game. I have never seen this. That is a pretty neat game. Let's see, we got Escape from New York, Dune, and Alien Game. We got a Wild Bill's Wacky Wobbler. It's a Penguin Funko. Powerpuff Girls, Mr. Freeze. Um, we got the Joker. There's a couple more down there. And then I think this whole thing is Dorbs. Just a whole bunch of Dorbs. And over here, we've got some John Daly golf balls, new in the plastic. I think there are seven of these uh, dop kits, is what he called them. These are by Zara or Zara. Here's a nice Mizuno glove, XM satellite radio. Here is a Google Home Mini. Some autographed baseballs, some video games down here, some shoes. Oh, these are pretty cool. Crystal Pepsi glasses. Pretty good variety of stuff. I paid a little bit over $400 for all this stuff, but I think there's some money to be made. Joshua and Sean, I want to thank you guys so much for reaching out and selling me this stuff. I'm looking forward to doing business with you guys again soon. Got a couple packages from viewers this week. First one is from Kyle. All right, we got a letter. John, I am a newer part-time eBay seller and highly enjoy your channel as well as Lonnie's and a few other staples. Came across a large box of these brand new 88 and 89 Tops folders at a garage sale. I know they don't have a ton of value, but I thought you would enjoy the two Reds players that were in the lot, seeing as you love a sports memorabilia and Cincy ties. Thank you for all your due for those of us trying to resell a few items and those that enjoy just the entertainment. Kyle Jacob, um, known as KYJA33 on eBay. In fact, he's well file. All right. We got Danny Jackson, Eric Davis. That is slick. Thank you, Kyle. These are really cool. If you guys want to see Kyle's eBay store, I'll put a link down below in the description. Okay, next is from D Needs from Ohio, Sylvania, actually. John, hello from Toledo. I wanted to drop you this note to say I really enjoy the videos and the knowledge you share on YouTube. One of my best friends is a Reds fan, so he typically gets any good Reds finds I come across, but when I found these items, I thought you and your wife may enjoy them. Best of luck in your business, Daniel. Daniel also says he has three sons, Abram, Jonah, and Simon. So Abram, Jonah, and Simon, thank you guys for watching the videos. I really appreciate it. All right, we've got a Cincinnati Bearcats decal. This is cool. It's like one of those clear ones. I went to UC too, so this is going to go on my van. That is cool. This is an awesome piece. A bowling green laptop bag, like, kind of like a messenger bag. That is really cool. My wife went to Bowling Green. Some of you guys might know that. And she's a big time, you know, Bowling Green Falcon fan. So I think she's really going to love that. Daniel, thank you so much for this stuff. That was really thoughtful of you. It's Friday afternoon. I'm back from the garage sales. Today is Red's opening day. I'm really excited for that. And I've got 17 eBay orders to ship out. And I've also got a couple orders outside of eBay that I have to ship out too. So let's get to work. First two things are right here. This is a horse weather vane that was part of the stuff I bought up in Cleveland. And this is a Michael Jordan plaque I just recently got at a garage sale. Um, I sold each of these for $25 free shipping. This one's going out to Jane, and that one's going out to Dallas. Jane and Dallas, thank you for the support. Really hope you like that stuff. All right, next thing is up here in C7. I think I might have sold a couple things out of here, actually. All right, I sold this right here. This is a first gear dump truck. This sold for $49.99 plus shipping. This thing is really cool. It's got the chains on the tires and everything. Just lots of detail. I also sold this uh, ambulance. This is also the first gear brand. This sold for $79.99 plus shipping. Sold these two right here. Uh, this is a skid loader and this is a uh, wrecker. That pair sold for $29.98 plus shipping. And the skid loader and wrecker are going out to a viewer named Karen who has bought a lot for me in the past. Karen, thank you so much for the continued support. I really appreciate it. And then this big piece right here sold as well. Uh, this is a big Ertl. Farmall corn picker die cast. 
Also part of the stuff I got up in Cleveland, this sold for $149.99 plus shipping. This guy did not sell. So we'll pull him out of here. Everything else sold out of this box. Okay, moving right along. I sold another car. I think I might have sold two out of here, actually. I know I sold this roadway one. I actually had two roadway trucks from that lot I bought in Cleveland, and I gave one of them to my mom because her dad drove for roadway, so she wanted it. Uh, this sold for $19.99 plus shipping. Okay, never mind. Only one sold out of there, so we're moving on to the next bin. Sold this tractor up here in H7. This is an Ertl Agri King tractor, um, 116 scale. This sold for uh, $49.99 plus shipping. Coming down here to B5. Sold a new in the plastic Google Home Mini. This is part of the big box of stuff I bought from a viewer. This sold for $18.99 free shipping. All right, another thing I bought from a viewer is right here in B4. This is a Ravel uh, Mad uh, Magazine Assemble Hobby Kit. There are some active listings in the hundreds for this thing, but no completed listings around there. I even looked on Worth Point and it's never sold above like $30, $40, something like that. So I priced it at $39.99 plus shipping. My box is a little bit beat up, unfortunately, uh, and it's sold $39.99 plus shipping. All right, coming up here to C9, I listed all those Funko Pops yesterday and a handful of them sold already. Let's see here. First is this Mr. Freeze. That sold for $6.99 plus shipping. Let's go down to a viewer named Allison who says, Thank you, Mr. Cincinnati Picker. Huge inspiration to our YouTube channel, Eclipse Picking. Have a great one. Allison, thank you so much. I'd love to hear that. And I would definitely check out your YouTube channel. And if you guys want to see the channel as well, I'll put a link down below in the description. Sold a baseball glove over here. This is a vintage McGregor glove. Uh, honestly, it was probably better suited for softball. This sold for $14.99 plus shipping. Got it at a garage sale maybe a month ago for a couple bucks. All right, sold something at E2. It's a little farmer guy that came with one of the tractors. Uh, Lowell Davis is the artist. This sold for $9.99 plus shipping. Sold a couple more Funko Pops out of here. Uh, somebody bought Deadpool and the Riddler. I think it's this one right here. Oh wait, that's the Penguin. Sorry. Um, well, which one is the Riddler? That's the surfboard one. Must be this one. No, that's the Joker. Here it is. There he is, Riddler. Okay. Um, somebody bought both of these for $13.98 plus shipping. These are going out to be your name, Donald. Donald, thank you so much for the support. Really hope you like these Funko Pops. All right, I sold at least one or two more out of here. Um, I sold Magneto right here, and actually Donald bought that too, so thanks, Donald. And someone bought the Black Power Ranger right here for $9.99 plus shipping. I forgot to tell you guys what this sold for. Magneto sold for $9.99 plus shipping. And obviously I'll be combining all three of these in one box for Donald and refunding him the difference in the shipping cost. Okay, next is over here to C1. These are Kodak, uh, looks like a lens hood and an adapter ring. Uh, the pair sold for $14.99 plus shipping. I've maybe only got a dollar, probably less than these. They were part of a big camera buy I did maybe three months ago. Okay, next is over here on D4. Sold this Nintendo GameCube. This was part of that uh, recent video game bulk buy I made. It had the power adapter, but it did not have this right here. So had to buy that, but it sold for $59.99 plus shipping. All right, last thing I'm pulling is over here in A4. This is a Barry Larkin bobblehead. I've got about $3 into this. It sold for $11.99 plus shipping. Let's go out to a viewer named Nate. He says, my name is Nate. Just wanted to say I love your YouTube channel. You actually inspired me to take up reselling as my full-time job, and it's been an amazing adventure. I love how informative your videos are. I've learned a lot from watching them. Thank you for all you do for the reselling community. I'm a huge Reds, Bengals, and Bearcats fan. If you'd like, check out my eBay store, Shroom07. Keep up the awesome videos. Go Reds, World Series champs. Nate, thank you so much for the support. I'll definitely check out your eBay store, and if anybody watching this wants to check it out as well, I'll put a link down below in the description and go Reds. Before I end this video, I've got some viewer questions I wanna answer. First is from Mary Watkins. What mile radius do you go in for your garage sales? Do you limit yourself in mileage output? I've always kept myself within a zoned area or I figure my gas output would negate the savings on items. I try not to go too far. Um, there's a city north of me called Dayton that I'll go on Thursdays just because they have sales there and we don't have sales on Fridays. And that's maybe 20 or 30 miles away. Um, so on Thursdays, I drive a little bit further, but I've done the math and I'm always finding more stuff and making more money than the gas I put out. And it's really not even close. So I try not to worry too much. Um, the biggest thing for me is time more so than the gas output. I don't want to drive an hour 
just for one sale, you know what I mean? If I know there's a big cluster of sales, I might drive 45 minutes, an hour, or something like that. But if it's just one or two sales, I'm probably not gonna waste my time with just a couple sales. Next is from Carolina Picks. Hello, John, are you guys going to the 127 sale this year? I'm going, not sure I will get up to Ohio, but maybe we will run into each other. So they're talking about the Route 127 sale. It is billed as the world's longest garage sale. It goes along Route 127, starts up in Michigan, and goes all the way down to Alabama. We are planning on going. My wife and I are going to go down to Tennessee, and we're going to meet up with Kevin, the Tennessee picker, and Lonnie from Garage Flips. We did it last year, had a lot of fun. Just got an Airbnb for a few nights and hung out and, you know, hit some sales in the morning. So planning on doing that again. I'm really looking forward to it. That's going to be in like two weeks. All right, it's the end of the week. You guys know what that means. I'm going to update you on my momentum board and how many listings I got done on eBay this week. Okay, Monday I did 14 for 236. Tuesday only 4 for 60. Uh, Wednesday was a big day, 29 for 1219. Thursday was an even bigger day, 37 for 1155. And today only 8 for 153. Grand total for the week, 92 listings for 2,823. Uh, I need to change my uh, active current listings as well. I'm actually down just a little bit on my current actives because I've been making so many sales. Current is at 373. That's it for this video guys. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.